It's not a lot to drink to in this uh, chapter, but chapter 25 signals uh, the end of that tiresome block of uh, Isaiah. Now chapter 5 comes along of 2 Nephi, and I mean, all right, Isaiah is the best they could find for predictions of the coming Messiah. Then we see chapter 25 of 2 Nephi, and I'll tell you, it's enough to drive me to drink. <laughs> no wonder I find this book so intoxicating. Well, let's get, let's get started. This one's just for the hell of it. That's just to get, just to get started. Okay. So we just got out of all this Isaiah. Something like, I don't know, a good 15 chapters of Isaiah. I didn't really count. I'm not really putting a lot of thought into this because, I mean, what's the point? I mean, the most profound idea I had was painting the book gold. <laughs> this is just, um, just reading it, that's all. Trying to understand. All right. Now I, Nephi, he's still introducing himself do speak somewhat concerning the words which I have written, which have been spoken by the mouth of Isaiah. Yeah, explain why that was necessary, except for padding, filler. For, behold, Isaiah spoke many things which were hard for many of my people to understand. Not just them. Not just them. Even Christians. They just think they do. <laughs> For they know not concerning the manner of prophesying among the Jews. And of course, uh, old Nephi sure does, don't he? <laughs> For I, Nephi, have not taught them many things concerning the manners of the Jews, his people. For their way, their works were works of darkness, that's the Jews. And their doings were doings of abominations. Really? The Jews were doing abominations. I guess that's all the details we're going to get. That's too bad. I'd like to have found out about this. All right. Wherefore, I write unto my people, unto all those that show receive hereafter these things which I write, that they may know the judgments of God, that they come upon all nations according to the word which hath he hath spoken. Chapter 25 of Second Nephi is extremely prophetic, so fasten your seatbelts. Wherefore, Hearken, O oh, my people, which are of the house of Israel, but speak Egyptian and don't know anything about Jewish prophecy, apparently. Explains this. Which are the house of Israel, and give ear unto my words, as the words of Isaiah... Wait, for because the words of Isaiah are not plain unto you, Nevertheless, they are plain unto all those that are filled with the spirit of prophecy. But I give unto you a prophecy. And oh, he's going to like blow Isaiah out of the water. According to the spirit which is in me, a lot more than old Isaiah. I don't know why you bothered to quote him. Since he's... Pitiful next to you, Nephi, Mr. Bridgment. <laughs> Wherefore I shall prophesy according to the plainness which hath been with me from the time that I came out of Jerusalem with my father. 
For behold, my soul delighteth in plainness unto my people that they may learn. Yea, and my soul delighteth in the words of Isaiah. Yeah, that's pretty obvious. For I came out from Jerusalem, and mine eyes hath beheld the things of the Jews. And I know that the Jews do understand the things of the prophets. And there is none other people that understand the things which were spoken unto the Jews like unto them. Because they're the ones who got spoken unto. Uh, things for... Save it be that they are taught after the manner of the things of the Jews. I'd rather listen to this. Oh well, uh, I have obligations. But behold, I, Nephi, have not taught my children after the manner of the Jews. Yeah, pretty obvious. But behold, I, of myself, have dwelt at Jerusalem. Uh, we know you told us. <laughs> Wherefore, I know concerning the regions around about, and I have made mention unto my children concerning the judgments of God. Yeah, not you judging, God judging. You just happen to speak for God. So it's hard to tell when you're doing one or the other. <laughs> Nephi. Asshole. I hate Nephi. I just decided that reading this book. I'd want to tie him up and let wild bees eat him too. <laughs> uh, the region's about, and I have made mention unto my children concerning the judgments of God which hath come to pass among the Jews unto my children, according to all that which Isaiah hath spoken, and I do write, not write them. I'll sit down here. So I'll twist my back. I know there's another one coming, so let's get ready for it. Yeah. All right. <sighs> uh oh. Oh, there it is. But behold, I proceed with mine own prophecy, and it's a doozy. It just blows the whole Old Testament away. I defy anyone to go through the Old Testament and find a prophecy about Jesus more profound than chapter 25 of 2 Nephi. Uh, I mean, you just gotta... Alright, let's just get to it. I mean, wow. It's an amazing prophecy. Yeah, my own prophecy, according to my plainness, in which I know that no man can err. Nevertheless, in the days that the prophecies of Isaiah shall be fulfilled, men shall know of a surety at the times which shall come to pass. See, I saw that one. <laughs> Wherefore, they are not worth... Wait, they are... Wherefore, they are of worth unto the children of men, and he that supposes, supposeth that they are not. Unto them I will speak particularly. Ooh, I can't wait. And can find the words unto mine own people. Oh, shucks. What a cop out. 
For I know that they shall be of great worth unto them in the last days. God, we're, we're just ticking down. Yep, not going to even make it to 2012. <laughs> last days. For in that day shall they understand them. Yeah, is that the way it works? Looking back, I see predictions of 9-11. Wow. Completely of no use, but interesting. What good's a prophecy if it doesn't warn you? Really? Sorry. Just anal that way. <laughs> I think a prophecy should actually serve a purpose instead of be a part of trick or a source of irony. In the last days, for that day, yeah. wherefore, for their good, I have written them, and as one generation, one generation hath been destroyed among the Jews because of iniquity. Even so have they been destroyed from generation to generation according to their iniquities. It's their fault. I wonder what old Joseph Smith would have thought about the Holocaust. I guess he would have found a way to blame that on them too. They were just too good at math, damn them. Too good at commerce. <laughs> I don't know. All right. And never hath any of them been destroyed, save it were foretold them by the prophets of the Lord. Well, where were you Mormons when the Jews needed you in Germany? And chunks of Europe. The Mormons could have saved the day. Their prophets, they could have warned these people. We got a gold book. Get out of the country! But I don't think they really like Jews too much. That's the impression I'm getting from this this golden book is that, I don't know, they're not too fond of Jews. Interesting. Wherefore it hath been told them concerning the destruction which should come unto them immediately after my father left Jerusalem that doesn't explain all those trips back. I mean, Lehi never went back. He just kept sending his sons back. How many times? Four, five times? I lost count. <laughs> and the destruction... Uh, concerning... Uh, wait, uh, immediately after... Uh, wait. Wherefore it hath told them concerning the destruction which should come upon them immediately after my father left Jerusalem. Nevertheless, they hardened their hearts, and according to my prophecy, they have been destroyed. <clears throat> so their prophecy, Le Nephi's prophecy has proved Nephi's prophecy. It's brilliant. I can see why people believe this shit. Not. I've always wanted to do, do a not joke. There it is. That's my last one, too. <laughs> they have been destroyed, according to his prophecy. He just knows. He, he never checked, but he knows. I mean, it's not like it was some guy reading history books going, oh yeah, and I'll write that part in. No, no, this was happening way back in ancient history, and it's totally fucking a real psyche thingy. And now, this I speak because of the Spirit which is in me. And notwithstanding, they have been carried away. They shall return again and possess the land of Jerusalem. There's one great prophecy right there. I mean, who needs all of the prophets? Verse 11 just did it all. <laughs> They shall be restored again to the land of their inheritance. And, behold, they shall have wars and rumors of wars. 
and when the day cometh that the only begotten, both capitalized, of uh, the Father capitalized. I'm saying this because it's unusual. Yea, even the Father capitalized of heaven and earth shall manifest himself unto them in the flesh. See, it hasn't happened yet. They're still in Old Testament times. I mean, the Jews are slaving away in Babylon right now. And they're having it easy in America. Except they just don't get along with uh, those Lamanite Indian guys. I don't like them. So the Lord's going to manifest himself in the flesh, but not yet. You know, another you know, 500 years or so. Give or take 50. <laughs> this is really great history here. Uh, behold, they will reject him, Jesus. I mean, sorry, we're not naming names right now. Dramatic effect, let's wait. Because of their iniquities. That's why they didn't like him. Because of their iniquities. It's their fault. And the hardness of their hearts. And the stiffness of their necks. Behold, they will crucify him. I don't know where the word crucify appears in the Old Testament unless you include the Apocrypha. I think it might appear in Maccabees. Maybe. I, maybe I'm wrong. But, uh, crucify him. Boy, that's specific. All those vague Old Testament prophecies. Just throw the Bible away. You don't need it. You got this. <laughs> yeah. Let's vote for Mitt Romney right now. Sure. Register R just to be ready. All right, stiffs is their next. Behold, they will crucify him, and after he is laid in a sepulchre for the space of three days, he shall rise from the dead. Is there a prophecy that good in the Old Testament? Come on, tell me. With healing. In his wings. He's got wings now. And all those who shall believe on his name. What's his name? You haven't said it yet. Dramatic effect. His name shall be saved in the kingdom of God. Wherefore my soul delighteth to prophecy concerning him. I delighteth reading this. For I have seen his day, being a prophet and all, and my heart doth magnify his holy name. And behold, it shall come to pass. That one caught me by surprise. Oh, I just might get drunk after all. All right. And behold, it shall come to pass that after the Messiah hath risen from the dead and hath manifested himself unto his people, unto as many as will believe in his name, on his name, behold, Jerusalem shall be to be destroyed. Maybe a little later, give or take 50 years. Yeah, she'll be destroyed again. For woe unto them that fight against God. That's what they were doing. It's the Jews' fault. They said, hey, put it on us and all our kids and all our generations. We want to be guilty for this shit. We're so behind it. Yeah, that's so natural. Yeah, they were fighting against God. God. Zilla. <laughs> against God and the people 
of his church. I mean, God, not just not just fighting against God, but it's the people of his church too. Are you crazy? Wherefore the Jews shall be scattered among all nations, yea, and also Babylon shall be destroyed. Again, that's my little addition. Wherefore the Jews shall be scattered by all by other nations. God, this is amazing. And after they have been scattered, and the Lord God hath scourged them by other nations for the space of many generations, many of them. <laughs> many generations, yea, even down from generation to generation. <laughs> they had to add that to accentuate the other until they shall be persuaded to believe in Christ. You're going to persuade them, huh? Yeah, I love the sound of that. I've heard of those kind of persuasions before. I've had an intervention myself. It didn't work. I knew the Bible better than them. <laughs> uh, and I don't even know it that good. I, I've read it, but I don't remember it all. But I still know it better than they did. <laughs> generation to generation, to be persuaded to believe in Christ, the Son of God, and the atonement, very important, which is infinite for all mankind. Infinite but limited. To, you got to be a member. But it's infinite for members only. And when that day shall come, ooh, that was close, that they shall believe in Christ, like they have a choice, the way this sounds, and worship the Father in His name, which with pure hearts and clean hands, and look not forward to any other Messiah like those Jews keep doing. No, you're not supposed to wait for the coming of the Messiah. You're wait, supposed to wait for the return of him. He came, got killed, he's going to come back. He's not going to come, he's coming back. Get it right. Man. All right. Then, at that time, the day will come that it must needs be expedient that they should believe these things. It's expedient. Just believe it. Just do it. Again, the Lord will set his hand again the second time to restore his people from their lost and fallen state. Wherefore, he will proceed to do a marvelous work And a wonder among the children of men. Wherefore he shall bring forth his words unto them, which words shall judge them. Thanks. At the last day. That's my vote. <laughs> uh, oops, I should judge them on the last day, for they shall be given them. For they shall give, be given them for the purpose of convincing them of the truth of the Messiah. Who was rejected by them? Those them guys. Fuck them. <laughs> that they need not look forward for a Messiah. Oh, them is the Jews. Why did you say it? Now I'm going to be all on PC because of that. Yeah, for the, look for any Messiah to come, for they should not any come, save it should be a false Messiah. Isn't that cool how they set up that the false, the Antichrist, the false false prophet? Yeah, don't trust anymore. It did it with uh, that Muhammad guy. No, wait, wait, Joseph Smith guy, excuse me. Or is it Sun Yun Moon? Or... Ah, oh, my head hurts.
All better. <coughs> now I gotta find my place again. Yeah, false messiah. Which should deceive <coughs> which should deceive the people for there is save one Messiah spoken of by the prophets and they snuffed his ass. I mean no that's sorry. <coughs> and that <coughs> and that Messiah who <coughs> is he who should be rejected by the Jews? For according to the words of the prophets, that settles it, man. The Messiah cometh in 600 years from the time that my father left Jerusalem. And according to the words of the prophets, and also the words of the angel of God, his name shall be Zoram. No, just kidding. <laughs> Drum roll. Jesus Christ. No shit. First time they said his whole name. <laughs> In chapter 19 of 2 Nephi 25. Tell me where they say Jesus Christ in the Old Testament. And I will personally kiss your ass. I know that I won't have to do that, so that's why I said that. <laughs> I got a video to do. Excuse me, I'm sorry. <laughs> Jesus Christ, the Son of God. If that doesn't convince you, nothing will. You hard-hearted, stiff-necked pricks. You don't believe? It's a cold book. Come on, does that convince you? It's a cold book. And now, my brethren, I have spoken plainly that ye cannot err. And the Lord God liveth that brought Israel up out of the land of Egypt and gave unto Moses power that he should heal the nations after they have been bitten by the poisonous serpents. If they would cast their eyes upon the serpent which he did raise up before them and also gave him power that he should smite the rock with his other magic wand and the water should come forth. Yea, behold, I say unto you that as these things are true, and as the Lord liveth, does he really? <laughs> it's, and as, wait, <laughs> whoops, <laughs> I lost my place. And as the Lord God liveth, there is none other name given unto under heaven, save it be Jesus Christ. Twice in one chapter. Wow. First time mentioned in the Book of Mormon. Second Nephi, chapter 25, verse 20. Wait, wait. Verse 19. Excuse me. I lost my place. God, that's terrible. All right. So anyway, about the flying serpents and all that. Damn, screensaver came on, sorry. Yeah. Uh, other name given by Jesus Christ, of which I have spoken, whereby man can be saved. From what? Just asking. Comment below. Wherefore, for... This cause hath the Lord God promised unto me that these things which I write shall be kept and preserved on Mount Camorra in a hole under a rock. 
This is amazing prophecy. I believe. I believe! No, it's just a soundtrack. Sorry. I got carried away. Alright. <laughs> uh, preserved and handed down unto my seed from generation to generation that the promise that may be fulfilled unto Joseph to another Joseph that his seed should never perish even though they did <laughs> as long as the earth should stand let's get this clear the earth I mean see that uh, poster back there the earth is not standing on anything the earth does not stand it wobbles a little once in a while every I don't know how many thousand years but I'm not a scientist okay you can tell me below. I, I will pay attention and I will learn. <sighs> the earth does not stand, okay? That's all I want to say. All right, maybe you're being poetic, but fuck you, <laughs> Mr. Gold Book Writer guy. All right, fuck you. Um, wherefore, these things shall go from generation to generation. As long as the earth shall stand, which it doesn't, it turns and it wobbles sometimes. And it mostly leans a little. But we love it. It's our planet. We would be nothing without it. And they shall and they shall go according to the will and pleasure of God. Is God getting off on all this? Is that what you're saying? That makes a little bit of sense. Ew. And the nations... God, he can see everything. Ugh! Even... Oh, even that? Shit. Uh, Alright. <laughs> According to the will and pleasure of God, and the nations, who shall possess them shall be judged... <laughs> of them according to the words which are written for they labor diligently to write to persuade our children and also our brethren to believe in Christ wow they're way ahead of the Bible guys you know I'm, I'm just not so impressed with this book anymore you know all right it's it's between this and the Quran now it's one of them. Or none of them. I lost my place. God damn it. Okay. For we labor diligently to write, to persuade our children and also our brethren to believe in Christ. And also to be reconciled to God. For we know that it is by grace that we are saved. After all, we can do. I mean, God, we were born fucked. I thought being fucking caused us, but we were also born fucked. And we gotta atone for... I don't want to play anymore. Oh, man, I totally fucked this video up. And not... For the... Wait, brethren, believe in Christ. And to be reconciled to God, for we know that it is by grace we'd be saved. After all, after all we can do, and notwithstanding, we believe in Christ. We keep the law of Moses. We look forward with steadfastness unto Christ until the law be fulfilled. When he shows up, then we don't fuck the law after that. Fuck you, law! I fought the law and I fucking finally won! For, for this end, for, for this end, <laughs> was the law given. Wherefore, the law hath become dead unto us. Fucking law. Fuck you, law. 
once you're dead unto us. For we are made alive in Christ, so fuck you, law. Now that Christ is here, and is our biatch, because of our faith, yet we keep the law because of his commandments. Whose commandments? You've lost me now. And we talk of Christ. We rejoice in Christ. We preach of Christ. Christ! We prophesy of Christ. And we write according to our prophecies that our children may know to what source that they may look for per remission of their sins because they're all traumatized by now. Wherefore, we speak concerning the law that our children may know the deadness of the law. So, fuck the law! We got JB, JC, our biatch. He's our man. He's our boy. He died for us. Thank you. <laughs> All right, I'm okay. That is the law. And they, by knowing the dead is the law, may look forward to unto the life, and that life, which is in Christ. Where it's all about him afterwards. <laughs> and no, for that end, the law was given. It was all about him. And after the law was, is fulfilled in Christ, that they need not hearken their hearts against him. Why would they at this point? A little insecure there? When the law ought to be done away? Goddamn Jews, stop following the law. Notice me! Notice me, I'm in a gold book. Uh, and now, behold, my people, ye are a stiff-necked people. I'm sick of you. Wherefore, I have spoken plainly unto you that ye cannot misunderstand, stupid, and the words which I have spoken shall stand as a testimony against you, you pricks, because you didn't fucking listen to me. It's my party, and I'll cry if I want to. Okay. <laughs> and now. Oh, wait, I don't even know where I'm at now. Okay. Stiffneck people. Wherefore, I have spoken plainly unto you that ye cannot misunderstand, you stupid fucktards. <laughs> and the words which I have spoken shall stand as a testimony against you. For they are sufficient to teach any man the right way. For the right way is to believe in Christ. <laughs> And deny him not. Don't do it. <laughs> For by denying him, ye also deny the prophets. No! And also the law. Oh, you didn't tell me that. <laughs> and now, behold, I say unto you, that the right way is to believe in Christ and deny him not. And Christ is the Holy One of Israel and everywhere else, apparently. Especially real. They got that cool statue with a lightning, with a lightning rod. <laughs> Oops. Uh, uh, and Christ is the Holy One of Israel Wherefore ye shall bow 
down before him and worship him with all your might. Mind and strength. Wow, they want it all. I better wear depends when I do that, <laughs> just in case. I, I, I lost my voice again. God damn it. Things are kind of swimming around. I don't know why. And, oh, wait. Yeah, worship with your might, mind, and strength, and your whole soul, your entire fucking soul. And if ye shall in no wise, wait, and if ye do so, ye shall no wise be cast out. And in so much as it shall be expedient, ye must keep and keep the performances and ordinance of God until the law shall be fulfilled, which was given unto Moses, because Jesus hasn't been born yet, hasn't lived yet, hasn't suffered yet, hasn't died and resurrected yet, and suffered some more, and, and an eternal bliss. Because this is around the time of the Babylonian exile, so, fuck you, Joseph Smith. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I'm willing to be nice to most believers and religious hearts. But, <laughs> fuck you, Joseph Smith. God damn, you got what was coming to you, you prick. This video has gotten totally out of hand. And I'm ending it now. Anyway, first time Jesus Christ is mentioned in this gold-plated pile of dog shit. I'll see you guys in chapter 26. Sorry this was wrong, so fucking long, but it was a long chapter, and it was an important one. I won't do this again. I'll never go longer than this, I promise. Peace out, and have a wonderful whatever the fuck it is. Bye-zy-bye.